Well, we've got a measurement session coming up this afternoon at uh, one of our local machine shops here. And uh, a lot of fun working with these guys. They've always got some pretty cool things to measure. And notice this. We just pulled a CAD model in of a new Lotus hood. And uh, they've got this tool ready to, uh, to measure or inspect. So we're going to pull up Polyworks and do a little hard probe inspection on this thing. But one thing I like to do before I go to any measurement session is I like to pull the CAD model in first, make sure it comes in and everything looks like it's supposed to. But one thing I noticed with this model, let me zoom in just a little bit more. Notice that I've got some surfaces here that are blue. As I pull this model in and I kind of move around a little bit, typically the model is going to be a gray color when I pull it in. And... Um, I've got a couple surfaces that are blue here. So that means that that surface vector has been flipped. So that is inverted. But I wanted to show you guys that if you see this in your CAD model imports, that we can easily take care of that super quick. And of course, you want to have the whole model um, gray so that the vector, the vector of compensation is always correct. So there's a quick way to do that. In fact, I'll zoom in just a little bit more here. A little bit more. Okay, so that surface right there is what we're looking at having inverted. So the quick way to do that though is to go right under this tools, pull down menu, and then reference objects, correct inverted CAD surfaces. That is going to be our, our uh, fix for this. So let me click on that a second, but also notice that the control Q gets us into that same spot. So let's go, I'll click on that a second. It's thinking about it, and it's going to take the surfaces that it sees there, and it just corrected the surface, uh, the surface vector for this surface here. Let me zoom out because typically it doesn't do all of them at the same time if it's not visible. So there's a bunch more on there too. So let me zoom all the way out and all the way out. There we go. And then this time I'm going to hit, instead of going to the Tools Reference Objects, I'm going to hit the control Q. I wish I had a video showing that on my keyboard here, but take my word for it, okay? I'm going to hit control Q, and there it's going to think about it for a minute and solve it. There. Now all the remaining surfaces that were visible have all just turned to gray now. So now all of my surface vectors are appropriate for this measurement. If you did have one surface that was blue, it's easy to hit the space bar and it turns your cursor to the selection tool and then with the left mouse key you can click it like here I just selected that surface if that was the case then what you could do is come up to the tools reference objects and then invert element orientation that's only if you've got a couple surfaces that are that are blue that need correcting but since I had a bunch of surfaces in there I went right to this choice here where I could correct all of the CAD surfaces at the same time